First, a special report on the women who are battling the cultural barriers stopping them from swimming. Research shared with ITV News shows people from ethnic communities are far less likely to be able to swim than white people. From Paul's reluctant to allow women to wear more modest swimming costumes to racist attitudes held by teachers. Discrimination is excluding many and there are now growing calls for governing bodies to finally take action to address the issues. As Sangeeta Lal explains. Learning to swim now because they've never been able to before. This Muslim women's group lesson is, for many, a first chance to dip their toes in the water because of cultural barriers, they say, that shouldn't exist. Layla used to swim every week when she was a child, even hoped it might become her career one day. But at 12 years old, that all ended when she no longer wanted to wear a swimsuit in the pool. It wasn't really my feelings towards swimming had changed in any way. It was more that I, as I grew older, I was encouraged to dress more modestly. So wearing a swimsuit wasn't really appropriate. Um, but most swimming baths didn't really allow you to wear leggings or t-shirts and things like that in the pool. So I was kind of forced to move away from it a little bit. I would like to think that people are more open-minded than they actually are. But in reality, a lot of people don't take other cultures and other religions into account. It's experiences like Layla's that have been shared in a new survey by Swim England, looking into the demographics of those who can swim and their ability. It shows cultural barriers are widespread, particularly among women, as it's found 24% of South Asian women say they can swim 25 metres unaided. But that's compared to the national average of 80%. For Muslim women, that number is slightly higher, but only just at 29%. And for black women, it's 33. Good. Really reach. Stretch further. Stretch further. That's it. There's a lack of representation among teachers too, something Catrice is trying to change. Her passion is drowning out myths within the sport. She says too often swimming tutors tell her they believe black people are less able to float because of their bone density. Really experienced teachers believed in the myth that skin colour altered the way or people can float or swim. So what exactly did that teacher say to you? The experience from teacher said to me that the little boy was ethnically challenged. Because he was black, she believed that he wasn't able to float or swim as well. Just how damaging is that for that little boy, for so many children who may want to progress in swimming? They're going to have lower expectations um, and then they're going to not achieve as well as people that do have white skin or lighter coloured skin. And who um, perhaps weren't discouraged the exactly, way they were. Exactly. But why has it taken so long for governing bodies to take action on issues raised for decades? Previously, we might have looked more at the, the talent path went and we didn't necessarily break that down into specific demographics. So for us, it's about identifying that and starting to narrow down on what we're doing. Unlike a lot of other sports, swimming is a life skill. So it's not just a sport you can go and do competitively. Yeah. Some, though, have overcome the barriers they faced. For me, the Jamaican Athlete of the Year is, was always pretty special to me. Michael Gunning has broken a number of Jamaican national records and competed for Great Britain too. Now retired, he says successes like his are unfortunately rare within his community. I think that's hard, you know, it can be quite a lonely place to look around and, you know, to be so proud of your, of making the team and actually making it there, but also, you know, knowing that you're not really represented that much. You know, I'd always hear those comments that black people sink in water, that I'd never go on to achieve, you know, my dreams of qualifying from and representing my country, but no one should ever have to go through that, you know, we should all love the sports that we do and no one should ever have to question that. Just like Layla did who hoped one day to jump in the deep end and maybe become a competitive swimmer. But she felt she never had the chance to try. Sangeeta Lal, ITV News.